Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to present about geospatial analysis and solutions for COVID-19 in Sri Lanka. As we all know, COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by virus. Most people infected with this virus and some will become seriously ill or die. So, firstly, the way of spreading of COVID-19 is identified and found the social and economical factors that are influencing for diffusion. Finally, we give some solution for medical facilities for most risk areas. So, let's move on to the further process. At first, all required data need to be collected. For that, different resources can be used. There are many free available resources. Here are the some links that can be used to collect the relevant data for this partial analysis. The next step is the creation of individual thematic maps to identify the COVID-19 pandemic situation. For that, COVID-19 patients and deaths were mapped according to the waves. Here, new file data source was created and then imported administrative shapefile of Sri Lanka. Then, the attribute table was updated using patients and deaths of COVID-19. After that, the thematic map was created and the layout was done by adding scale, legend, north, date and by using other settings. Likewise, six maps can be created for patients and deaths of three waves of COVID-19 pandemic. The next step is the analysis of thematic maps and creation of charts for identifying the diffusion of COVID patients and deaths. Here the diagram was added as a line chart to compare the data. Then parameter settings and style settings were changed accordingly.
Here the chart shows the results of comparison. So let's move on to the next topic, interpolation and creating grid ranges maps. To identify the environmental factors influencing for COVID-19, this step was done. As the environmental factors, temperature, precipitation, and wind speed were considered. To identify the factors that affect for COVID-19 pandemic, the dot density maps were created. As an example, I will take land use shapefile. At first, the land use shapefile was imported. Then, spatial analysis was done using SQL queries. The fields that need to be in the attribute table was selected. When creating the thematic maps, dot density maps were selected and layout was done. When considering the land use of Sri Lanka, industrial, residential and military dot density maps were created. To identify the medical facilities for risk areas, overlaying and buffering were done. According to the data analyzed, Colombo district was found as most affected district. Buffer zones were created to identify the proximity of health facilities over populated land areas. Here, hospital and road data were overlaid. From this, we identified that more medical facilities are needed to the Hungwala DS division of Colombo district. Let's move on to the 3D modeling of risk area. At first, building, water, road, and land use data were extracted by Hangwala DS division.
the old data sets was added to new spherical scene. Then, different heights for buildings per set. In 3D spatial analysis, openness analysis and shadow analysis were done to identify the most suitable building as COVID-19 treatment center. This is our output as a solution for medical facilities in the event of a rapid spread of corona epidemic. Thank you for joining with us.